Hello, this is Trey from SoFly. Today I'm going to show you how to export your orders from WooCommerce using WP All Export. If you go to New Export, from this drop down, you want to select Orders. Here it will show you the total amount of orders that will be exported. You can add filtering options if you need to. Select the element, say you wanted to choose a certain date, uh, completed date, um, status. Let's say that you only wanted to export orders that had been completed. So you'll choose status equals WC completed, add rule. You can see here it updates. There's only been three orders that were completed. Uh, you can add more rules if you want. I'm going to delete this rule using the little trash can here. It goes back to five. We'll continue to step two. In step two, this is where you'll add elements, rearrange elements. This is what will be included in your export file. You can choose to add fields with this button. What would you like to include? Uh, say order status. How would you like to name it? This will be in the header, status. You can go to advanced options here, and you can choose to export the value return by a PHP function. Put your function name here, it'll pass the value. In this case, it would be the status. Write your function right here. You would save it, hit done. Over here on the right, there's an easy way where you can just drag the elements over as you need them. Here's the order information. Say we wanted the completed date. We already put the status in there. Currency, payment method, the order total. And like I said, you can just click these to change the title if you want. Here's a uh, customer information. We can get the customer user ID, billing first name, billing last name. Down here, you'll see the shipping information. You can collapse these if you want to kind of make it easier to navigate around. Items, here's the item information. We'll go and get the product ID, the SKU, product name, quantity, taxes and shipping information, get the total tax amount, shipping method, things like that, fees and discounts, say they used a coupon, we can add that in there. Uh, under advanced, you'll see more advanced custom fields if you needed to add those to your export. Over here on the left, you'll see more options. You can display each product in its own row or choose not to. Fill in empty columns. You can hover over these for more information on what these options do. Choose the delimiter for your CSV. If you want to change that, you can preview the row. See here is what your CSV file look like. Looks good. You can export as an XML if you want. When you hit preview on an XML, you can see it looks like an XML file. We'll stick with CSV for this. You can save your settings as a template. Say you want to do a new export later and you want to include all of these elements that you've already added here. You'll just click here to load the template that you saved. So, example template. Just type the name in here. When you hit continue, it'll save that for you. And on the last step, you have some advanced settings you can change if you want to only include orders once. So if you re-ran this export and you had this selected, then it will only export orders that are new that haven't already been exported. So that's pretty handy. You can include BOM in export file if you have non-English characters. Create a new file each time the exports run. Split it into multiple files. Let's say you had a ton of orders that you're going to export. Use this and only include a certain amount of orders per file, and then you'll get multiple files. And you can choose a friendly name. So when you go to manage exports later and you want to find this, then this will make it a lot easier to find. Put my friendly name, confirm and run export. You can see the status pretty quick because we only had five orders. And then you'll click the blue CSV button to download your CSV file. We'll go ahead and do that and see how it looks. There we go. Open it up. Here it is. There's the header you chose and all the information you need. Looks good. Completed date. First name. And if you go over to Manage Exports here, you'll see My Friendly Name that you chose. You can edit the export, change the settings. If you want to download the file again right there, just download the CSV again and you can run it again. 
I think that pretty much covers it. That's how you'd export your WooCommerce orders using WP All Export. Thank you for watching.